Good morning, guys. Cesar Ramirez here. I want to show you really quick something that's pretty cool here, man. Um, this is a Sony VGN-TZ2980N, and I just want to show you what I did here. It's kind of cool. Uh, you're going to see a dual show up here. This is actually the Darwin X86 um, installation, and I have two options here. I can go to Windows NTFS or Mac OS X. That's right. This is actually an experiment I made over uh, Christmas break of 08. And I got curious. Um, I've been uh, monitoring a good friend of mine, Chris Record, and he's a Mac fan. And I got to tell you, uh, Macs were actually not not really what I was really interested in. I've always been doing computer uh, uh, computers through uh, Windows PC since uh, generally since DOS since 1989 uh, when I first got my first 286. But I'm pretty excited to show uh, everybody here the Mac Pro. Uh, pretty much the Mac Pro. Um, with this is a 10.5.5 again over Christmas break I was just experimenting with this and this uh, Sony actually has what's called a the Intel components so um, it made it really easy as you can hear see now that I'm I'm here into the uh, Mac OS uh, X um, so anything that pretty much you can do on the regular Mac you can do it here um, let's see let me close the windows here as you can see up here I got my sound and my menu here's my dashboard I put a, I put a pretty cool little fish thing on there let me click it back as you can see it's pretty quick like no hesitation the screen is nice and bright. I mean, these Sony's are are excellent. I highly recommend a Sony. This thing weighs less than 10 pounds. I mean, I'm sorry, less than a pound. And as you can see, I'm sporting the Apple logo. I know you Mac, uh, or sorry, your PC uh, Windows guys are probably gonna hate on me, but you know, I, I did it at no cost. I mean, I just my time, and I, I wouldn't recommend doing this if you're gonna go try to sell it because it's highly probably not legal, but it's mainly for experimental purposes only. It works perfect, like I said, and uh, it's awesome. Um, so now I get to follow Chris Records' uh, videos and, and advice through a Mac OS X because it's a lot simpler, a lot cleaner to do video. Um, let me pause this real quick. To do video uh, recording, and, and there's a program that he recommended called ScreenFlow, which is sitting right there. Uh, ScreenFlow is by far the best program I've seen to do real-time recording. So Chris Record, thank you very much uh, for your guidance and um, inspiration that's led me to figure out how to install Mac OS X on a PC. So again, this is just for experimental purposes only. If you guys don't know anything about computers, um, I, I recommend kind of staying away from this venue and go buy yourself a Mac OS X, which I, I think eventually I will ma buy myself a Mac Pro. Um, because it's what's uh, I'm seeing I'm seeing the benefits now of a Mac. So as one said before, I used to uh, be a bias to not liking a Mac or not liking a PC, um, and now, now I'm kind of a uh, sorry. Let me start over. I used to not like a Mac, and I was more towards a PC because I experimented. But now I'm biased to the whole thing. I actually like both of them. So um, and find myself more you know hanging around on, on the Mac OS OS X. And if you guys have any questions as far as what works and what doesn't on this uh, on this PC, again, every PC is different, so don't try to go install this um, distribution on a PC that you're not sure what components you have, because components, sound, um, video, let's see, Bluetooth, um, wireless, all, all that, all the components that are built into the system are very uh, technical, and you need you need to make sure you got the drivers and and it supports it. So. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below, and I will go back into uh, explaining more stuff, of stuff that I've got working and stuff, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Once again, this is Cesar Ramirez, and I'm out.